This has been discussed before, although we have not gotten, you know, dug into it because it was pure speculation. And it is not a done deal at this point, but Don Waddell is a man of interest around the National Hockey League for openings in front offices. What? Specifically, I'm not surprised. So specifically, the Columbus Blue Jackets are considering uh, swiping Don Waddell from Raleigh, uh, putting him in a box and bringing him to Columbus to head their organization. And there are there were other teams as well involved. I had heard that Winnipeg was interested in Waddell. Interesting thing there is that Don used to be the general manager of the Atlanta Thrashers. Oh. And the Thrashers became the Winnipeg Jets. Well, look at that. There you go. There's history. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, n- none of those players are still there, but uh, it wasn't that long ago either. It was 15 years ago? No, it was a little bit more than that. Uh, but not that not that long ago. For one year, for one hot minute, Winnipeg and Carolina were in the same division. That was silly. But, so that could happen. It could happen over the weekend. And my, my just broad brush thoughts about this, and there's a lot of things about it that uh, I think are great. First of all, it's all great for Don because anybody that shows interest in you a, you're doing something right, mm-hmm. and B, it certainly doesn't hurt you financially. No, it does not. So, here's the thing. Don Waddell was the president of the Carolina Hurricanes, where he was simply just in charge of the business side of the team. When Don got here, John, uh, rather uh, Ron Francis was the general manager. Uh, Waddell might have even been here predating Francis might have been even well Jim, Jim Rutherford ran everything so when Rutherford left and gave the uh and you know they passed the baton to Ron Francis Don Waddell came in to run the business side of things and when Francis was fired and and Tom Dundon was reshaping the organization there wasn't a GM they did a GM search Because Don was simply going to stay on as president of the team, and they were going to bring in an outside GM to replace Ron Francis. And then the Hurricanes got the second pick of the draft, and Don was like, sure. Yeah. (laughs) I'll take it. So he became the general manager as well. Now, this is not uncommon. Again, Jim Rutherford before him was president and general manager of the Carolina Hurricanes. So, but that's, Don has two titles. He wears two hats. So, I don't know what the Hurricanes would do if Don Waddell left, other than, I, from what I've read, they have already explored external options at GM should Waddell take other opportunities. My sense is that they won't, that they will simply elevate Eric Tulski to the position of general manager, uh, but they would still need to bring in a team president. Yeah. So there's going to be a hire. We just don't know what it's for. And I've always said this about Don, and I actually got into a little bit of a friction thing with Waddell because I don't know if he didn't appreciate or if he was just joking with me. When when we were hashing out Rod Brindamore's contract, uh, and why hasn't it happened? And there was that story that Wad, uh, that uh, Tom Dundon said, well, it's too emotional for me. I have t- uh, a too good a relationship with him, so I've let Don handle it. What did I say? Bull. Mm-hmm. Tom Dundon is never no. going to remove himself from the situation. From his money. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> So while Don was probably the point person in the negotiation, ultimately, all decisions, every single decision, it doesn't just get rubber stamped or okayed by Tom Dundon. He is a part of the decision process. I am not criticizing that. I am just saying that's the way it has always been 
with every decision they make. Yeah. Who to draft? Who to draft in the set when they get to the second round? Tom Dundon is part of that equation. Who to trade for? Who to sign? What to sign for? Tom Dundon is part of that. If Don, Don Waddell doesn't do that on his own and then say, hey, Tom, here's our payroll. That's not the way it works. It's never the way it was supposed to work. Tom has been very upfront about this is going to be a collaboration. It was why it was never going to work with Ron Francis. And I'm not, again, I'm not knocking anybody in this situation. I am not knocking Ron Francis or Don Waddell or Tom Dundon or anybody. This is just the way it is. I would certainly not argue with results because the Hurricanes have been a playoff team in each of the six years of Tom Dundon's ownership. And while Rod Brindamore is a massive part of that, maybe the biggest part of that, the fact is is that they have spent money to the cap just about every year. Uh, they they kind of built to it. They used their cap space to, uh, to get a draft pick from Toronto. We remember that. So the... They're not a cheap team. Tom is willing to spend money on the team. But, and here's where we folded back into Don Waddell. When Don went from president to president and general manager, he didn't double his salary. I actually don't know if he got a raise at all to take on the second job. But he certainly didn't double his salary. And while he has been signed to an extension since there's no indication that Tom Dundon values that position like it is valued around the league just like he does it with head coach in terms of salary just like he does it with a lot of jobs in the organization broadcaster right because of that he assigns value differently than others Again, not a criticism. This is more of an observation. In some cases, it's a criticism, but uh, it's just an observation. And Tom Dundon, again, the proof is in the success of the organization and the team on the ice. So, what does this mean? It means that if Don Waddell, who is probably going to be in the sport for I don't know, another three to five years before he has, and he's already more than earned a retirement. He wants to go off and spend more time doing nothing. Or, I, which honestly, as, as much as I know Don, I can't imagine him wanting to do that since he's at the office every day by like five. If he ever decides he wants to retire, hey, Get as much out of the game as you can financially. I would always tell people to do that. So I do think that ultimately he'll probably move on yeah. to whether whether it's Columbus or somewhere else. Uh, Don has great contacts. Don is a relationships, a people person. He is. You so, can tell at the uh, Backyard Bistro events. Yeah, Don, it's very friendly. Don is, Don is a really good guy. Mm-hmm. And I think he is respected around the league. And because of that, I think if Don wants to go and, I don't know, double, maybe triple what he earns, he can do that. The Hurricanes have always said they will not stand in the way of anybody who wants to go on and make and do something bigger and better. But there is a value that is assigned to the position. And Tom Dundon is not going to vary from that value ever, except maybe once, and he's already done that with the head coach. So that's what I would say about Don Waddell. Valuable to this organization in many, many ways, but not necessarily valued in terms of a salary by the owner. So I think that's where we're uh that's probably where the impasse is. And if I'm uh if I'm wrong about that, I will let you know, but I don't think I am. Uh anyway, uh Don has done a very good job 
for the Carolina Hurricanes. My hope is that he will continue to do a very good job for the Carolina Hurricanes. We are at the point where there are a lot of contracts that need to be negotiated. Don is a point person there, but ultimately, let's go back to the beginning of the conversation, Tom Dundon is in charge. And whether or not Tom will handle the negotiations, I don't think Tom wants to. But if Don Waddell leaves, Tom Dundon will handle those. So that's where we are. Um, We'll keep you up to date about Don Waddell.